we look back to a weekend in May when over 80,000 bikers of all shapes and sizes from not just the UK but across Europe converged on Peterborough, the venue for this year's 40th anniversary BMF show. And that's exactly where I am. In fact, I'm just in the bike park and there are absolutely hundreds of them. Not just thousands, flaming hundreds of thousands. And there's hardly any people to be seen. And the reason for that is because they're all over there, actually in the show. And whatever takes your biking fancy, you're virtually guaranteed to find it here. But after a long ride, just to get here, you don't want to be lugging your helmets and bag around all day. So just pop over to the biggest helmet park you've ever seen. And for a small fee, you can store them securely until you're ready to leave. If you spent years searching for that hard to find part, then there's a good chance you'll locate it somewhere on the enormous auto jumble. Everything from nuts and bolts to body panels, even complete bikes were on sale. And as well as the major manufacturers and dealers, there was the usual display of owners clubs from around the country. Many of them with some rather nice looking examples, including these two Yamaha RDs, which looked like they'd just stepped straight off the production line. Not to mention an LC powered drag bike. But it wasn't just the two wheelers which were attracting all the attention. Oh, you'll know that recently Wayne and I have developed a bit of a liking for trikes, the old three wheelers, good fun. Wayne likes them in particular because he can't fall off them. Ah, not quite as easy anyway. So here's another trike, VMAX, VMAX engine trike, two wheels at the back, one wheel at the front. Nothing very special there, it's how you would expect it to look. But if you want to see a very special VMAX trike, come this way. Now as if a VMAX didn't look different enough, how about this for a different kind of trike? This is the V2, very, very special. And what I like about it is it still looks like a bike, all this bodywork looks like it was meant to be there. It's not just been stuck on the front. It's a bog standard VMAX underneath, 1200cc motor, no engineering modifications to the engine, all the clever stuff's down here at the front, but it is beautiful. Big cast alloy Oz racing wheels, billet six pot calipers on each wheel, I believe it stops a treat. The man who's done this has brought it to the show and he's got it here on the VMAX Owners Club stand to gauge the interest to see if it's worth putting it into production. And I think it's probably the most photographed machine here at the show. And if you want one, if it does go into production properly, it'll cost you 16 grand. 16,000 quid, well I can't afford that with what I get paid, I can tell you. And talking about 16, 1600 cc's this V-Twin Yamaha, about as big as you can get. And I can tell you size really does matter. This is a conventional style of trike, you can see, done by the trike shop, and it's on display here at the 100% Biker Magazine stand. And this attractive young lady on the back here happens to be one of the models who's been in the magazine. So there's two beautiful things on this Bike Magazine stand, that's me and Lamara here on the back. Now look at this, a tricked up R6 like you've never seen a tricked up R6 before. It's got these big things sticking out the side. They're not actually stabilizers for Wayne, although they do look a bit like that. This is a slide machine. I haven't got a clue how it works, but Matthew Hartley knows how it works. So Matthew, what's going on here? What's going on is that these outriggers, as we prefer to call them, right. catch you when you high side in right. short and sweet. So they basically stop you crashing. Is, is that it? Because it leans over a long way, is it? It's not just to stop your high side, surely. They do stop your high side and it gives you confidence when you're cornering as well because right. we use this machine in two modes. One is a lean machine where we, the instructor stands in the middle and you'd ride around as a, as a student around in circles. Yeah. The instructor talks to you on a one-way one intercom uh -huh. and tells you how to change your body position so you're comfortable on the bike. Right. And if you've got problems with turning right or left, you yeah. can go around clockwise or anti-clockwise so you can sort out your body position and get relaxed on the bike. Superb, yeah, they, are, they say, don't they, that most people go around one way better than the other, don't they? Some people do go around one way better than the other, yeah. <laughs> right. And then the other, the other way we use it is as a slide machine, where the instructor, again on the one-way intercom, gets you to lose grip on the back wheel by accelerating, putting lots of throttle on, early in the turn, yeah. the back wheel loses grip, and what most people do is they close the throttle, back wheel grips, and they've got pinged off over the high side. Yeah. The outriggers save that with those hydraulics that you've just seen. Right. All Superb. right. And what the instructor will do is he'll talk to you, and tell you to hold the throttle and pick the bike up at the same time. And you'll and say, it, yeah, of course I will. Yeah. That's right, yeah. 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 yeah I like it's, to... it's one way intercom, so you can't <laughs> hear the student talking to you. Just as well, really.
Two wheels are not two wheels. Oh. As always at these rallies and things, people do like to have a little tipple, and some just a little more than others. I mean, look at him. Can't stand up straight. See you later, Paul. Now, I'm always preaching that you should uh, be protected when riding your motorcycle, and leather is definitely a good thing to wear when you're, uh, when you're having a ride. <laughs> oh, Mrs. A, it'd be rude not to. <laughs> now, this is a little bit different. Different on two counts. First of all, usually at these shows, you end up buying clearance lines. Fair enough, and you can buy a bargain. But the different thing with this is, these are brand new, never been seen before because they're launched here at the show. Nice bit of kit they are indeed, a lovely exhaust silencer unit to go on the back of your bike. We've got them in the old aluminium and we start at 145 quid and the titanium ones are just less than 300 pounds. And you can see from the uh, bit on the end there that they are a little bit different, a little different than the usual lasers, microns and all the other brands because they usually have a little spout. This has got like a cone effect on the bottom. Nice product from a strange name, but interesting, Hytera. Now this is one of the highlights of the arena here at the BMF show, something you've probably seen before, certainly if you've been here, the Moped Mayhem. It's a moped race, it goes for about an hour and a half and somehow somebody keeps track of who does how many laps and somebody wins in the end. One of the best things about this is the names of the teams. We've got Team Midlife Crisis, the Three Cycle Paths and all sorts of other zany names, they're all completely mad. In fact, many of the team names were not actually fit for transmission on a family show such as this. And so, after the red flag went down, it was a mad dash to the machines. Certainly, I don't ever remember C50s, monkey bikes and Yamaha FS1Es going quite as fast as this. The fun really started as the riders began to negotiate the chicanes, which were formed by huge tractor tyres on the track. There is a massive element of fun in a race like this, but these riders were certainly taking things very seriously indeed, even down to wearing full race leathers, knee sliders and tear-off strips on their goggles. And when all the action on the speedway track had come to an end, it was over to the stunt team. You know, it's amazing what people will do just to get a lift here at the BMF, eh? The fact is, this is a stunt team, and this is the centre grass area in the middle of the speedway circuit, and that's where all the stunts occur. Now, this bunch are called Over the Top Stunt Team, and they do go over the top every now and again, and there's another guy doing his bit called Matt Coulter, he's called the Kangaroo Kid. Oh, obviously, I could have got a ride then, but I was busy talking to you. After a hard day in the arena, it's time for a party. You know, there's a funny smell of petrol around here. I, th I think somebody's burning something somewhere. Well, obviously, there's a fire. <laughs> you know, you know, when I came to the BMF show about four years ago now, there was a gang of lads from Yarmouth called Pants Motorcycle Club who gave me a really, really hard time. I've just bumped into them again, and they've not changed. They're all still dafters brushes. Look at this. We Te wear pants. Pants. Yeah. Pants. pants. <laughs> Team pants. Just, is, it, it's kind of, is it a ritual thing, these, these pants? I mean, we wear pants. <laughs> Fine. Right. I mean, why, why do you wear pants? Because our tackle will be hanging because out. Because they're to be worn. It's really nice Somebody said it's because you've, you've got somewhere to keep your ale. Oh, yeah, you keep oh, your yeah. ale in it. Right? Look, look at that. <laughs> it's a fantastic. Put a spare in it. <laughs> Brilliant. Pants. Well, uh, so what's been the highlights of your last four years then since we met? Have any... Wearing pants. Having <laughs> 10 seconds worth on uh, men and motors. <laughs> Am I going to get any sense out of this? I don't no think so. Either. You're having no, a great so time. I was on the radio. You've been, been on the radio? Yeah, yeah. we're on the radio. radio. We're world famous, yeah. Well, it wouldn't really come across on radio much, would it? I mean, oh, oh, it does, it does, does yeah. It? Yeah. 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 You'd be surprised. Oh, Especially right. the conversation about the very vicious riptide at Potterheim Bridge. <laughs> that, right. was a, that was a highlight of last year's conversation on the radio. 
I'm sure it was. I don't understand any of that, but I'm sure it means something. Where are you all from, fellas, please? And madam. Northwest London, Hertfordshire. Oh, that's Southerners. We don't He's normally allow right. Southerners in our God's programme, but all right. God's country, all right, yeah. God's is it God's, God's country? Indeed. You'd have to God's clarify God's this. Country. Why is it God's country then? Because all the best people come up from up north, you know. What's that for? Whip it, racing and. Ah, leave it. Leave it. <laughs> leave it. <laughs> yeah, I can smell that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> leave it. I don't. I don't like this job. I hate this flavour oh, job. I've got to work with you lads here. Yeah. So your your passion for this BMF rally? Come on, tell me. It's how many great. years have you been coming well, in? It's then? the second year we've been up here camping. And it's great. I mean, so many people, I mean, bikers do get a bad name and all that. They come up here, a bit of drunkenness, but there's no aggravation, no thieving. It's fantastic. Everybody's here for a good time. You know what's time. amazing is, the amazing thing is, there's whatever, there's going to be 90, 100,000 people yeah. and maybe three policemen. Yeah. Well, and, and they're, they're bored. They're I, I know, I know, I know you won't use this, but we, we are police officers. Are you really? Yeah. We will use this now. <laughs> we weren't going to do, but we are now. And you should be on duty. No. You're, you're no. three police officers. One, two, three. You should have. Yeah. And you're on duty, and you should have your orange jackets on. Hey. Ah, the smell of the barbie and the smell of toasted grass. This is what they're having for supper, this lot. Look, they've been setting the place on fire. Where are you from, all you people? Northern Ireland, originally. Right. St. No. St. Albans now. Oh, St. Albans. And are you all that sort of area? Yeah? No. Ilford. No, no. Stevenage. Stevenage, Eff Ilford, all over the place. Right, are you regulars then? Is this a regular event, BMF show? Yeah, every year. Every year? Every year. Why? Why every year? What's so fantastic about it? Well, the BMF organise it and we come along. It's a great opportunity to get together, see each other, right. and have a barbecue and burn the grass. <laughs> exactly, you're doing that. In the rain as well. We don't care about the rain. This is a fantastic gazebo, but this is the best direction I've seen all weekend. Can I just say that? Can I, can, you said to me, originally Northern Ireland, but you said this is your first BMF show? Yeah. Right, so what do you think then? Ah, wonderful. Is it? Yeah. Really good. What, yeah. bar, cheap cheap gear? Um, Loads of I mean, booze? Just bungee Bungie, the You've bungee. not been on the bungee. Oh, we have. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, you've been yeah. in that thing that shoots you up that yeah, kit. Yeah, yeah. We've done a tandem. You look. Jolly been on the bungee. <laughs> 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 he was six foot seven when he came here this morning. Actually, uh, right. Well, uh, God bless you. Keep burning the grass and. Say hello to what? Oh, Tina. Tina. Go on, say hello, hello to Tina. Hello, Tina. Hello, Tina. Who's Tina? Oh, you don't want to know. Oh, no. <laughs> Better than I'll we'll leave it on that note, eh? Shouldn't be here, you know. This is the Marshall's Hut. This is privileged to be even stood in this vicinity. Uh, Mick, Mick here. Oh, come on here, cop. This is a man who likes... Good job it's colour television, isn't it, eh, really? For those who are watching in black and white, it's pink, <laughs> yellow, purple and everything, isn't it? You're a very colourful character. You obviously, I know you obviously, been here for many a year, haven't you? Well, How many years have you been doing this, Mick? About, uh, this is 11th, I think. 11th? Yeah. Bye. And, and I also know something else that a lot of guys out there don't know. Is in actual fact, this is, uh, you, you do your thing for freebies. That's right, well, we're here all weekend. We get, we get food. Oh well done. We'll get a chat yeah, everybody, we we'll enjoy ourselves. Yeah. You're drinking your hand there, yeah. Yeah. So so is it because you just want to put a bit back into the old Viking scene? It's just because yeah, we enjoy meeting the bikers. We loved we just love doing it. We like the crack. We like the confrontation sometimes and you know, just that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Like it, yeah. You have a bit of trouble or not? Well, I've minor trouble, yeah. nothing, nothing, you know, yeah. nothing major. I didn't think you were going to sell me your dead grill really, no, because no. it never seemed to see it in any of these sort of events or anything That's like right, that. That's right, yeah. Yeah. So you'll be here forever in a day, will you? Well, I hope so, yeah. Yeah, as good. long as I can, yeah. Well, we need volunteers like you. I think it's a great thing. Yeah. But you haven't got your official bib on. Is that because everybody already knows you? Yes, yeah. Ah, they know the hat. I mean, they have been wearing the hat for a lot of years yeah. as well. It looks like it, I know, actually. <laughs> who's, the, who's the lady on the top there? Oh, it's a friend of my daughter, so it's right? Denise, yeah. yeah. So there we are. We have it. All this information has come from Mick, the marshal. <laughs> <laughs> Now I've gone and left Paul outside, where it is, I must admit, a little miserable, it's raining, he's amongst all the guys in the tents and everything, I'm sure he's enjoying himself, but this is a little different, this is where all the exhibitors come, we've got thousands of people sat down, they're having a meal, they've got a band playing and they're obviously having a few beers and that's exactly what I'm going to do, have a beer. Now why doesn't that statement surprise me? Well, join us after the break to see if Wayne has sobered up and for even more from this year's BMF show. <laughs> <laughs>